What's up guys, it's Dewan aka Curly Guy here and I am here at the beginning of this video to announce a new series that I'm starting here on my channel. Um, I feel like it's quarantine, you know we got the COVID going on and we're just stuck indoors and yes I still have work to do for nursing school but we're nearing the end of the road with that and I have a little bit of extra time on my hands, honestly. So I feel like this is a perfect time to take it all the way boop, 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 back to the basic. That's right, guys. I'm doing a like mini series here, or maybe a longer series, who knows? But I'm doing a series here essentially to um, go back to the basics and kind of show people who are still new naturals or still haven't quite mastered their natural. Um, some of the basics, some of the things I did when I was, you know, going natural or when I was transitioning. And I have quite a few videos lined up. I did get this idea from Kimberly Sherelle, so definitely go check out her channel. And if you do go check out her channel, tell her I sent you, basically. Just um, say Curly Guy sent me or whatever you want to do to just let her know that I was showing her some love. And I really like this idea that she has going on. This video is actually going to be the first installment of this series. And what I'm actually going to be doing is um, showing you guys how I deep condition. Now, ultimately, we will end up here at this nice, stretched, fluffy wash and go eventually. Not the first video, but we will get there. This video is just going to be showing you guys how I deep condition and explaining the importance of deep conditioning. I'm just telling you my take on things. So I hope you guys enjoy this series. I'm pretty excited about it because it gives me like a lot of content to put out for you guys. And you guys know I'm trying to be like a real YouTuber now <laughs> and be more consistent. So I'm really excited about this and I hope you guys are too. Definitely go ahead and subscribe if you have not done so already. And let's jump into this series. So without further ado, this is my deep conditioning routine. In a room full of people who don't recognize us I reach out for you and call out your name Oh, I know I should tell you, but you seem so happy Okay, guys, so as you see in the previous clip, I already filled you in on what's going on. And, of course, this is the deep conditioning video. Um, and this is one of the most basic but probably the most important step in your um, hair routine. Whichever style you're doing, this is definitely setting the foundation for it. So you definitely want to make sure your hair is moisturized. What I've done is got in the shower and rinsed my hair. I like for my hair to be, you know, pretty clean. It doesn't have to be shampoo clean, but it has to be pretty clean before I apply products on it and expect them to absorb. So you definitely want your hair to be pretty clean. Um, and and that's unless you're doing a pre-poo, which I don't do a whole lot, but I do sometimes. Anyway, I'm gonna jump right in it. And so today, let me just let you guys know I'll jump. This video is not sponsored, not sponsored. But I do wanna let you guys know that I am using my collab with Natural Club. Um, and the reason I'm using this specific deep conditioner is because there are certain times I use other deep conditioners and my hair turns out good. You guys notice my hair turns out good, but I know it could be better. And you guys have been asking me lately, how have I been having my hair so plump, so juicy, so shiny and defined? And honestly, I've been using this deep conditioner nonstop. Like you can even look at my last few videos. I have been using this deep conditioner nonstop. And one of the reasons I choose to use this deep conditioner on such consistent basis is because of the product, the ingredients in it. Um, as you guys know, this is formulated with CBD and avocado. Now we all know the benefits of avocado. Um, I'm sure you've probably already used avocado in your hair before, but if you have not, avocado is so good. The natural oils that come from avocado is so good for your hair. But the main star here is the CBD in this. And I like this because CBD is full of antioxidants, you guys. That's one thing that it is full of. Also, CBD is full of omega-3 and omega-6. And if you don't know what those are, guys, those are fatty acids. And essentially, what they do is they help to not only moisturize your hair and make your hair stronger, but they also help rebuild that barrier that your hair naturally has. Um, and that just causes you to be able to retain more moisture. Now, the reason that my hair usually looks really plump and juicy is because once my hair is able to absorb that moisture that I'm putting in it, it physically swells up the strand. Um, now, I know you guys may not be able to grasp that concept, or maybe you can, but it does. It's like a sponge. Like when you put water in a sponge, the sponge soaks it up and it kind of swells. 
Um, and it's not like a physical, dramatic difference that you're gonna see just looking at your hair, but I can feel the difference. And once my hair is styled and dry, I can still tell that my hair has held onto that moisture just because of the volume that I get and how fluffy my hair looks while still being defined. Now, one of the basic things about deep conditioning is that um, you don't have to deep condition on soaking wet hair. My hair is really warm because I did spray my hair with hot water before jumping out the shower, but it's not like super, super wet. However, um, it is wet enough, you know, for the product to go on to it and um, definitely absorb into my hair. But one thing I learned over the years as far as my hair is, my hair does not actually like to be super, super saturated because when there's a whole bunch of water in my hair, I find that it's harder for whatever product I'm applying to get into my hair um, when I'm deep conditioning products that I want to stay in my hair. Um, now that's different for when you're styling your hair and applying your leave-ins and stuff like that. You guys know um, on a regular basis, I do apply my leave-in in the shower so that my hair is able to absorb because of all that heat that's keeping the cuticle open. But with me being out like this, my hair is slowly cooling down. So my cuticle is not as open. Um, so I want it to be able to absorb as much of the, the deep conditioner as possible. As you guys can see, this is nothing new. Um, as always, natural deep conditioner detangle my hair with such ease um, that I almost forget to even talk about it. And um, let me just say again, I think I've already said it, but CBD is just... I don't know why we didn't think of this before, like why no one really thought of this before. I mean, I'm sure there's somebody that had CBD and some kind of product somewhere over there, but this product is so good. Like, I can't even explain it. And one of the things that I really like about it is when I tell you guys that you're going to feel this moisture in your hair days after it's applied, um, days after you've styled your hair, your hair is still going to feel moisturized. Um, and I really love that about it. Now, I always tell people to deep condition at least once a week. Um, in some cases, I guess, depending on your schedule, maybe it'll be every two weeks. I try to at least urge people to deep condition their hair at least once a week. Um, that way you're constantly reinforcing that moisture and getting your hair used to just being moisturized like that. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this deep conditioner to the other side of my hair and then I'll be right back to show you guys what I did. Okay guys, so now that all of my deep conditioner is applied, one reason that I choose to use this deep conditioner over some other deep conditioners is for one, I like to be able to deep condition and detangle my hair at the same time. And you guys know a lot of times I'll do my hair in the shower and the running water makes that easy. But if I'm not going to be in the shower when I'm deep conditioning, I need a deep conditioner that has tons and tons of slip. And we know all of natural deep conditioning has tons and tons of slip. So that's just that on that. Now what I also say is um, these deep conditioners can range between $9 and $13, somewhere in that range. However, you don't have to go out and break the bank. I, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your coins. I never do. You, you guys know I always say no coercion. However, I do have a coupon code where you can get 10% off your purchase if you do decide to get these products. And I consider wash day with deep conditioning as like a luxury kind of like a splurge so i don't mind splurging on my hair you know once a week i mean that's one meal at a fast food restaurant really so i mean do something good for your hair and something for your body because if you're not eating that fast food then you're getting snatched and deconditioned at the same time i'm just saying but anyway um so yeah, all of my product is applied and all of my hair is deep conditioned, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I do next. So of course, I go ahead and apply my plastic cap to my hair. I'm just going to go ahead and take this clip out, just so my hair is kind of, you know, just open and it's easier for the product to get through um, and soak in and get the heat also to get through. So I go ahead and apply my plastic cap. Now, you don't have to apply a plastic cap. That's just something I've been doing for years and years and years. Sometimes I use a um, grocery bag. Sometimes I use a plastic cap. It really just depends. But you use whatever you have. Now, this next step is not essential because this deep conditioner is bomb and it'll get you where you need to be on its own. However, to amp up my game, you know, and step my cookies up, I like to go in with a um, heat cap and I just pop this in the microwave for two minutes and it's supposed to stay hot for about 45 minutes I never leave it on that long anymore because I find that my hair does not need that long 
I leave it on for about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and just let my hair soak up all that goodness and marinate. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that on while I do a few assignments or what have you. And then I'll be back to show you guys what my hair looks like once I take this out. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm back and this is what my hair is looking like. I just took it down. My hair has been deconditioning for about 17 minutes. And this is what I love to see you guys. One reason, one surefire way for me to know that I've deconditioned my hair adequately is the shrinkage. Like when I first applied this to my hair, my hair was hanging down here. And the shrinkage, something about it just soaking all of it up. It just, ooh, mucho gusto. So I just love the way my hair feels right now. Um, but that's actually it for this part of the video. The next video that you will see is me actually styling my hair into the water and go and I will be using um, actually some some more products from natural also because you guys requested that I use this product combo together so if you want to see that video then make sure you tune into my next video also hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so they let you know when I upload that video and as always guys just remember if you can't keep it curly keep it classy bye guys I'll see you in my next one